Welcome to a video demonstration of Tracy Chain Asset Tracking application powered by Distributor Ledger Technology and Dapros platform. You can access this demo by navigating to tracychain.com slash demo. Uh, this is a technical demonstration showing user interfaces, API calls and blockchain transactions. Uh, for more information on the topic and for justification of blockchain technology and logistics and supply chain use cases, you may want to check our Medium report or our website for latest updates on the topic. Our demonstration deals with an imaginary supply chain example where a shipment of cheesecakes is produced in Boston, moved to a storage in Bridgeport, and then over to a shop in New York. First. Uh, we create an asset via API call or user interface which creates an asset both, uh, both in centralized database and on blockchain. Uh, the asset is created and now we can create the first record of its status and location which we call a trace. In our case, we want to let everybody in our supply chain know that the shipment has left uh, the Boston factory. Uh, so we click Add button here, which initiates an API call to store a new status uh, in centralized database and on blockchain. Our status stores shipment ID, date and time, as well as any arbitrary information you can see the timestamp, so date and time is here. Uh, but you can agree as part of your process to log GPS coordinates, temperature of the container, or any other information. So as you can see, the trace record has created successfully. And we can also see the green status dot indicating it is on the blockchain. So, uh, and because we're using uh, Dapros platform for hosting for this project, this means we also get a nice blockchain explorer integration here. So we can just click on it. And clicking on the link, we open the transactions explorer, which confirms our transaction is among other blockchain transactions. You can see it is highlighted over here and um, yeah, lots of other transactions on the blockchain. And this is back to our transaction. And this means that any supply chain partner, any end user can check and verify this transaction. We can also click on uh, our transaction to open its details. Uh, one of the key advantages of blockchain technology is uh, uh, the level of transparency it provides and the concept of the verified trust it introduces. In our case, we assume it is a private enterprise blockchain used by some mini consortium of partners operating a supply chain for said cheesecakes. Any partner in the consortium can open these interfaces of Explorer, Dashboard and uh, verify uh, this immutable data ledger. This is a decentralized storage and it is not owned or controlled by a single party. Instead, this is owned and, control and controlled by all participants of the supply chain. Back to our user-facing Tracy Chain web interface. We can keep adding traces as uh, our shipment keeps moving and updates its statuses. So we can add another trace that it has arrived to Bridgeport, where, Bridgeport Warehouse. In real world scenario, of course, these statuses get updated in a secure way to ensure correct ground truth data is added onto blockchain in the first place. Uh, for this, you might have integrations with existing ERP systems, GPS trackers, etc. Another valuable aspect of the system is that each user and agent has a cryptographic key pair 
uh, an Ethereum blockchain identity which is used to sign the transaction. So at this point, for example, to confirm shipment arriving to warehouse, uh, you may have multiple signatures to confirm the fact. You may have uh, one trace record signed by a delivery truck driver, another by warehouse operator, and a sequence of traces uh, signed by a GPS tracker, which can all independently verify each other. Similarly, we keep adding cryptographically signed trace records along the way of the shipment. So here we uh, uh, we can say we have we have arrived, we have added this one, then we can create another one that we have left the warehouse, and um, on our way to the retail spot in New York. Now, um, as your data is on blockchain, you can query the latest status anytime, of course, from your web application to show the relevant trace records. So for this, we click track button which shows us the provenance of the item. So the whole log of uh, traces or records around this shipment in our web interface, which is all taken directly from blockchain from our distributed ledger. So obviously as a final step, we add the trace record of safely arriving to the shop but of course in real life applications uh, you could modify the supply chain and user interfaces according uh, to your needs so this is it we hope you enjoy our enterprise uh, blockchain technology updates and please stay tuned for more interesting videos on this topic in our YouTube channel. Thank you.